In this video, we're going to be doing this passenger side front axle shaft on this Ford Explorer. The driver's side is going to be very similar. Let's get into it. I'm going to remove the wheel, use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And remove the wheel. And remove this nut. Use a 32 millimeter socket. Take the nut off. I'm going to take off this lower ball joint nut. Use a 15 16 wrench or a 24 millimeter wrench. Loosen up the nut. Now the stud of the ball joint is spinning, so I'm taking a 11 millimeter wrench and just putting it at the top. Then I can loosen up the nut this way. That's going to keep the stud from spinning. And when I get up near the top where the wrench can't fit, I just put a pole jack underneath the lower control arm. Just push up a little bit, that just keeps the stud from spinning. And then I can take the nut off the rest of the way. And that's loose right there. Now I can lower the pole jack. And luckily this is loose enough. I can just take that nut off, just pull it down. nut off. Otherwise you're going to need a special tool to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. Now I'm just going to use a pry bar and pry down the lower control arm, separate it from the knuckle. Just like that. I can grab the axle, just slide it out the wheel bearing. Just watch the brake hose. You don't want to put too much tension on the brake hose. Try to pop it to the side. And pull it out just like that. That's good for now. On the passenger side axle, we're going to have to take these two nuts off right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket to get those off. When you're doing the driver's side, every procedure up to this point is going to be the same, except you can use a pry bar or a axle fork to pop out the axle and you don't have to do this step. And using a 13 millimeter socket. Take the nuts off. And grab the axle. I'll just slide it out. And there it is. Now slide the axle in, same way it came out. And when you were taking it out, you might have lost a little bit of fluid from the transmission. So you might want a drain bucket. And you might want to check it afterwards. Just make sure that the fluid level's fine. I get that bracket lined up. And I'll put these nuts on.
And you want to torque these to 18 foot-pounds. And tighten that one down as well. If you're struggling to get on these bolts, you might have to turn the shaft so that the gap is right there so that you can access the bolts easier, the nuts easier. You can do that by turning the opposite wheel and that will turn the shaft just slightly so you can get that lined up. Now I take the axle, get it lined up with the wheel burn. Just try to get that started. You might have to twist, twist the wheel burn a little, or twist the axle. All right, that's good. And using a pry bar, lower this down and get the knuckle lined up with the lower ball joint. Just watch your fingers, you want to be careful. Put the nut on before the ball joints all the way to the top. Get that started. And underneath, I'm just gonna put a pole jack, put a little bit of pressure underneath the ball joint. And the stud should stay so that I can tighten that nut down a good amount. And if not, I'm gonna have to put a wrench on the top of the stud to prevent that from spinning. And we'll just start tightening it down. If you can get a torque wrench in there, you want to torque this to 148 foot-pounds. But do the best you can. All right. Now I can lower the pole jack. Now put the axle nut on. Just snug it up first. Then we're going to torque it. I'm going to use a pry bar to prevent the hub from spinning while I'm torquing it. I'll just go down to the floor like this in between the lugs the studs. Then I'm going to torque this nut to 258 foot-pounds. There you go. And install the wheel. Line it up. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.